Good morning. So I thought I would share a bit of the project I'm working on this morning. And it's this door. So this is the door that will go between the makerspace and the shop. And they're actually, there's two of them. And there's a swing hinges on the space. So we measured and measured the thickness and we have lots of height. So then we went shopping at our local antique dealer or our local picker in his stack of doors and we found a set that will work almost perfectly. So we do have to chop off just a little bit on each door just to fit in so they don't hit when they swing. So they're a little bit too wide, but other than that, perfect. And other than the fact that they're kind of gross because they've been outside for a long time. So the hinges that are on them are rusted, so I have to take those off and I'm hoping to save them because they're really pretty. And then I'm going to scrape and sand them and hopefully just put like a clear coat because I really don't want painted doors. I would love to have them kind of the antique, almost all the paint off look. So that's what I'm undertaking today. Um, right now the, the one is sitting on this tall horses and I'm gonna give it a good scrub and then I'm gonna give it a scrape and then maybe a sand on both sides. And like I said, take off those hinges. But I do, I think I wanna leave the hardware on there maybe. I think it'll be a cool look. So yeah, I'll give you some before pictures and then some after or during the process. So yeah, come along with me on this journey today and we'll see how we do. All right, bye guys. So here is the first door, first side. You can see here there's some loose molding, so I have to clean underneath that and glue that back on. And then this glass needs some work, some cleaning. And I do have these little curtain holders that are all kind of bent and broken. I don't know if I'm going to leave those on or take them off. And those are the hinges that I was talking about that I'm not sure if they're going to be, uh, well, I'm going to, I'm not going to use them on this door, but I'm not sure if they're going to be savable or usable for another door, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys. So this hinge has given me some trouble so far. So I actually had to go down to Dave's workshop and pick up some, or uh, use some of his, what is this, nut and bolt loosener to uh, get these screws. So I just released this one. So it's a common, sort of. There's not much of a line on the top of the screw left for me to actually put the screwdriver in. But look how rusty that guy was. That is nasty. So now, got one more. I've also sprayed this stuff and let it sit for a bit. So I'm gonna try to get this one moving. Oh, it moved a little bit. Oh, here we go. It just released. That is awesome. So on the other one, on the other side, this part is actually covering where the screws are. So I'm gonna have to try to bend this one up before getting the screws out. But I did spray some of this a couple minutes ago. So now I'm hoping that it will come off. <laughs> um, 
maybe. I don't know if there's more screws here. I think it was just the two, but it actually looks like it's like inset into the door. That's like moving. Oh, there is another screw right here. I see it. one like I said there isn't much of a gap for the screwdriver to sit in oh, oh it's moving a little bit there we go oh we got it I think Here we go. Excellent. And I didn't want to use a screwdriver or like a drill with like a screwdriver bit because I don't want to, like I know these screws are in hard shape, but if they are like the same metal as the hinge, I don't really want to wreck them. Okay, so this is like moving but not going anywhere. So. It might be like stripped inside or something. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be able just to pull this out without unscrewing it. I think it's wow. Oh. Oh yeah, that screw was totally bent before I tried to get it out. All right, so I don't mind that I cracked a little bit of the wood here because we are gonna have to cut off a quarter inch just to make this door fit. So, okay, I'll set up and we'll go over and try the next one. But that's, that's it folks, one off. Okay, so as you can see, it's like the hinge has been rusted in the position that it covers the screws here so i'm going to i just started releasing it and pulling up so i'm going to keep doing that to see if i can get enough space to get a screwdriver in there to release those screws to take it off but this might be might need something bigger okay so my screwdriver isn't thick enough to have enough like wrench to pull this up so I did grab a rubber mallet because I don't want to grab a hammer unless I absolutely have to because I do not want to ruin these hinges I want to try to save them so I'm just going to start pounding on the bottom here to pull it up. Hopefully this works. We'll see. Okay. I do not know if that's working. Okay, first off, I'm going to take everything off the table because it is bouncing. All right. So it did loosen up a little bit after I sprayed some of this like loosener. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit more and let it sit for a couple more minutes and see if my rubber mallet will work after that. And 
and the spray in here where the screws are. So when I finally do get in there, because I will get in there, um, it will uh, be ready for me to take this out. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes. I know it's dripping, but it's not on anything um, that we're not throwing away anyway. So I'm going to let these sit for a couple minutes and or this sit for a couple minutes and see how it does. I'll be back with you soon. Okay, so you just saw me respray the second hinge that was folded up on itself. But now I'm actually going to to get like a little ahead of myself. I'm going to spray the hinges that let me turn this around and show you because the hinges on the side are actually different on the other door. So here are the other hinges, that one and that, and they're different. So here's that other door, the other side. So I'm going to spray those and see if I spray them early while I'm working on this other door, if the sitting for these, because both of these hinges are like folded over where the screws are. So I am going to spray those now and I'm going to see if that helps. So I'll let you know. Okay, so as you can see, the hinge is up now. So I did take the mallet to it a couple more times and it wasn't really moving that well. So I actually just grabbed the rag that I've been cleaning the doors with and I just kind of wrenched it as I held it in the rag up and it popped open here we go so i think it was just a little bit of a blockage and i just had to like put a little bit of pressure and maybe the mallet helped like loosen everything but yeah me just pulling up on it is what did it so now i'm going to try to take the screws out Nope, I'm gonna have to spray these guys too. I just don't think they got dosed enough with this shut when I uh, sprayed it down with the loosener. So I'm gonna do it again and see what happens. So. Okay guys, so Dave's here now. I need a backup. Um, this, my wife is so strong. Yeah, I she, totally she, busted she, up the hinge. Well, she went for a good approach, off. which was to try to get <coughs> maybe a little loosen, a little room between, but it uh, it's cast iron. It's fragile. We've found other times where, yeah, it shatters, but I, did, I was able to get one of the screws out here. This one's gone. I need to get this one out. So I think we just got to get a bigger screwdriver with more, it gets more weight mm -hmm. behind it. And then... Uh, It'll happen. Okay, guys, here we are. So, Dave did get out that one screw. There's still two screws left out of three. But notice there's no hinge left. It has totally crumbled now and is sitting right here. So, here is my hinge I was trying to save. And the screws are still in. So I'm going to try to get Dave here again to uh, see what he can do. Hi, Dave. Hi. <laughs> you want to try? I'll try, and if it doesn't work like this, we can always <clears throat> use the wonderful um, method of a vice grip. Yeah. I just don't understand what, what, like, the wood is just so tight. Or the screw is it's, so... It's a slot head. The slot heads are like they're they strip out. You can see yeah. there's like fresh. It's it just they suck. There's a reason why Robertson's. Where's those clamps? I need the this stop oh. this from moving. Okay, I'm on the wrong. 
wrong way. It was allowing me to put it in more. <laughs> That's good that the screw is actually moving. So, I hope you had some very dramatic music to this. <laughs> Do you dun, like a Trent dun, Nally? Da, 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 da. Well, da, I, don't, da, da. I don't think I'll use Mission Impossible because, well, it's possible. So was everything they did. That's the ridiculousness <laughs> of the conceit of that whole series. Everything they did was possible. We watched it. This is not pretty. This is not uh, gentle restoration, but uh, I now give you a screwless door or a screwless hinge. A screwless hinge spot. Ugh. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. Now to paperwork. Yes, back to paperwork. Thank you. Good morning, dudes and dudettes. So this is day two of my door restoration or refinishing. Um, I got the one side sanded yesterday, well, scraped and sanded. 